Iranian fighter pilots fired on an unarmed American drone flying over international waters, Pentagon officials have confirmed. Julian Barnes now joins us from Washington to discuss that story. Julian, good morning. Good morning to you. Uh, so let, let's, we, we'll get to the why in a moment, but let, let's talk about the when and the where. Uh, this happened uh, on November 1st, before the election. Um, and the uh, U.S. officials say it was about 16 nautical miles off the coast of Iran. Um, this drone, a uh, predator drone, was conducting uh, reconnaissance or surveillance. It was spying on Iran when these uh, two Iranian fighter pilots uh, moved to intercept it. Okay, and this is a slow-moving drone. They fired, it was machine gun fire, they, and they missed it. So, that's right. Is this, is this a single, um, and, is it just uh, that's a... sort of surprising. Uh, you know, you would think that uh, uh, the Air Force has always said, you know, drones cannot uh, operate in contested space. They're, they're easy targets. Um, now, one thing defense officials have told us is, is that, that these Iranian fighter pilot, uh, planes, the Su-25s, were known as frog foots, are air-to-ground attack. Uh, they're meant to uh, fire their gun at ground targets, not at air targets. So that may explain why they missed. Uh, the Pentagon did say repeatedly that uh, they believe that the Iranians were tr weren't shooting warning shots. They were, were trying to destroy the drone. They just failed. Does this represent a, 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 a dangerous escalation of U.S.-Iranian kind of the, the, the conflict back and forth effectively over their nuclear program? Or is it more yeah, of the same? Yeah, I mean, they, we've had a series of events past. here where uh, there has been uh, 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 tensions um, that, that could escalate. began uh, a year ago with threats to close the Strait of Hormuz. We've seen these uh, cyber attacks that uh, Iranian uh, Iran has done on U.S. banks, and, and now we have this uh, sort of confrontation o over the drone. Um, now, Defense officials say one reason they kept it quiet was that they didn't want to escalate this. They wanted to privately warn Iran. They did not want to uh, create a situation where uh, this was escalating further. But every one of these uh, uh, kinds of incidents is a, uh, with tension so high, uh, could flare up to a, to a wider conflict. That, well, that, that is interesting because this did happen on November 1st, and it was so the White House was briefed. Uh, congressional leaders were briefed. Mitt Romney was not briefed. Is the concern yeah. that the Republican nominee would have maybe turned this into more than it was? Is that was it? Uh, uh, sh should he have been informed? Um, you know, the uh, there are some Republicans on Capitol Hill uh, last night. Uh, uh, Senator Jim Inhofe, spokesman, um, said it was wrong not to to brief a wider group of people. Uh, some advisors to Mr. Romney have raised questions about uh, why this wasn't uh, briefed to the nominee. Um, uh, now, on the other hand, uh, you know, one uh, official said to me privately yesterday that, uh, you know, had they released this, they might have been criticized for uh, uh, trying to uh, create an incident before the election in favor of Mr. Obama. So they felt... Uh, Defense officials say, in any case, it wasn't politics that made the decision, uh, that they were trying to not escalate this situation, and uh, what was going on was classified. They typically...